Hello, my name is Ruth Nene from Kicktronic Limited and today we will be giving you an in-depth walkthrough of our manufacturing section of Offbees. Whether you are new to Offbees or looking to enhance your understanding of its powerful manufacturing features, you are in the right place. The Offbeast manufacturing component is one of the core application components and has all of the functionality you will need to manage the cycle of tasks involved in making products and ensuring that material necessary for production is forecast to be available at the right time. It is well integrated with other components, especially catalogue, to manage product definition, whether it's a stage of manufacture, raw material supply, sub-assembly service and a work effort to manage all the means of production. Here we are, we have a job shop or which is known as production room. Here we can find and we can search by what it contains. Created, scheduled, confirmed, running, completed, closed or cancelled, the status, the product ID, production run name, start date and equal and we would press find. This would give up our information here, search results. So production runs are the do or work lists of the manufacturing department. Each manufacturing job or batch is run based on production run. Green you can search for existing production runs. You can also create a new production run by clicking create new production run. And as you can see here, we would put in the product that would need to be manufactured, the quantity to produce, we'll put the start date, the warehouse or the routing ID, give the production run a name, option a description and set the field for create dependent production runs to yes. If you want the system to automatically create the production run of a sub assemblies or components and then we would click the submit. Routing is used to link the tasks and routing tasks together in a sequence that they need to be performed to produce the final product. Routing is used when production run is created for a product and default routing associated to the product is duplicate for the production run. All its routing tasks are duplicated in the production run. Finding routing. This screen displays an overview of the routing available. So we have here our search results, routing name, description, quantity to produce, current status ID. Do routing tasks. Routing tasks are individual steps or activities that are needed to turn the raw materials into a finished product. These are used in the manufacturing or assembling process of a product. Examples include weighing out raw materials, assembling a product, machining or machining materials. It is necessary to create the routing tasks before creating a routing or production run. This screen displays an overview of all available routing tasks. It is possible to select one to edit. From here you can also create a new of routing tasks. You have the task ID the routing task name, description, task type, is it a fixed asset ID, estimated setup time and estimated run time. Click new routing task. You would put the routing task name, kind of type, assembly, manufacturing, subcontracting. We would add a description, we would add our asset ID, estimated time, cal estimated calculated method, and then we would press submit.
calendars to be able to do the planification it is necessary to know when each resource machine are available calendar helps you define each period with availability here we can find calendars this this screen displays an overview of existing production calendars from this screen you can select or edit or create a new calendar by clicking new calendar from here this is where we can see that we can update that's the description and this is the week id and then we would just press update we say edit you can define a new calendar week and modify an existing calendar week for the new calendar week we'll give it a name and a description and set up the start time and capacity we also have calendar exception week this screen displays a list of exception weeks of the calendar in the screen you can also add a new exception week to the overview put description and press add we also have exception day Put the date, manufacturing, calendar capacity, manufacturing use capacity, add description, and then add. This screen displays a list of exception days in the calendar. It is a screen you can also add a new exception day to the current calendar. Here we can go to cost calculations. Cost component calculation is used to be able to calculate routine task costs in routine task costs it's possible to associate it to a cost component calc in this screen you can create new cost calculations and modify existing calculations and here we'll be able to manage we will put the description fixed cost variable cost Per millisecond, we could put the currency and cost custom method. And then we will press submit. From here, we'll go to bill of materials or bomb. This screen displays an overview of bombs available, i.e., the list of product with components. When one is selected in the list, the detail of its components are shown. You can also click the button create bomb to create a new bomb bill of materials. So we can find here, we will put a product ID type. We can put manufacturing engineering and then we will press find and we will get this kind of search result. So give the product ID, the product name and the bill of materials or bomb type in the screen you can create a new bomb a product association or modify existing bomb as a product and its components in the screen there is a component list and it's possible to add edit each of the association between the products and one of its components and we'll come here, we can type, choose which type, product, show bomb, or we can put a product here. We would have this information all the way down here, product ID, the date, through date, sequence, the reason, instruction, quality, scrap factor, formula, routine test that we would ask, and here we are. We'd components of this product we would have the product ID the name the date quantity and other information that we put in and so we can delete or edit from here shows the effects of the simulated bomb from the bomb simulation the simulation will be executed and an overview will be shown after the button is pressed first section of the details of the bomb and the second required quantities and cost of the components 
head over to MRP. MRP stands for Material Requirement Planning. It's a computer program that will run regularly, helps a business to plan what to manufacture and when to manufacture it. It's also added benefit of letting you know when to buy raw materials to meet your manufacturing commitments. Running MRP is multiple steps. MRP tab to run the MRP report, view the MRP results and the requirement generated to buy the order to run production. So here we go, this is our log, look for product date and from the date and press find and we can also press run. This enables you to run the MRP, we put the name, kind of group and facility, default years and then we press submit. We would go to reports. This screen enables you to get a report on the MRP. We would just put it in here and press submit. We also have shipment plans. And the same here, the screen provides an overview of all shipment plans. Look out for our other videos of our Offbees ERP system. Thank you.